Meat City, baby. Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with another episode of Kicking Aces here in World of Tanks. And today I have a special video for you. This is my highest XP battle, certainly in recent memory, maybe in ever. I did go and check my account history and there's some like weird battle on there. It says my highest XP is 3,900 and something XP in the T5041. That must have been from years ago. I'm guessing it was when the XP system worked differently and had different tiers and all that because that number just seems impossible to get uh, in the current system and I haven't played that tank in a very, very long time. So for all intents and purposes, in my recent noble history, in this version of the game for sure, this is my highest XP game ever. And what tank is it in? Well, it's kind of a weird one. It's the T-34-100. This is a Czechoslovakian tier seven medium tank, and it doesn't do a whole lot very well. It has a good gun. I have the top gun on this tank unlocked. It does 250 damage per shot, and it can fire about seven rounds a minute. So it has some good DPM if you can get the gun on target and keep it firing. But nothing else about the tank is really good. It doesn't have great mobility. It's okay, but not great. It has really bad armor. There's no armor on this thing. You're not bouncing shots unless you get super, super lucky. But the one thing that's really bad about it, that's really frustrating, is the gun depression. The gun depression on this tank is five degrees. It is super frustrating. I hate tanks with bad gun depression. So I've been struggling with this one a lot, but it wasn't an issue for most of this battle. It does pop up a couple of times, but we get ourselves into a good spot here. Where we're able to put the tank into a good position to highlight its strengths. And like I said, we will have a really good result from that. So in on this map, this is Redshire. We're on a team destruction battle. I usually go to the west and either go in the valley if I'm in a heavy tank or an armored tank and, and then up on the ridge over there if I'm not. But instead, because I'm the bottom tier in this battle, I decided to try something different, follow some of the other medium tanks. So I'm here in this kind of mid ridge, closer to the uh, western side of the map. So we popped up and had a shot at an IS-2 far down in the corner and we bounced. So I switched to premium rounds and it's a good thing because we've got not only that tank, but a VK German heavy in front of us. And thankfully the premium round was enough to go through and secure our first kill of the game. So we still have those premium rounds loaded. We know the IS-2 is facing us mostly frontally with a little bit of an angle. So that's tough to go through with our standard rounds, but the premium is enough to punch through. So we put in a shot, we put in another one. He is now a one shot if we can get this last kill and he's having trouble hitting us. I don't think that tank's accuracy is very good. You can see he sends a shot just over our head and we're able to aim in, focus and get our second kill there for the IS-2 and it's eliminated. And once that's out of the way, we now switch back to our regular rounds with those two big heavies kind of out of the picture so we don't have to worry about such thick armor. So the, the enemy is kind of positioned on this second ridge line and I'm trying to figure out, like this is again, where the gun depression comes into play, right? You can't crest the ridge and get the gun down. It just doesn't have the depression to do so. Thankfully, I was just able to get shots into the IS-2 where he was going over the side of the tank, but any more than that, forget it. You're not gonna be able to do it. So I see that the enemy tanks here are pushing in. There's an Oni, there's an E75, there's a Skoda T50. Um, so they're all here. So again, you can see I'm coming up, coming up, trying to get the gun down. It's not working. So again, I'm not gonna overexpose my tank and take a bunch of damage. I pull back and here's where things start to go really, really well. So the Skoda pushes in, we get in a shot, our, our teammates finish it off. The E75 kind of YOLOs, he's running through here and he's not shooting at us, so bang, we put one into his side. And we're going for tracking shots here. We wanna rack up the assistance damage on top of regular standard damage. So there we go, we get a tracking shot in, boom, shot from our allies. We have one just about loaded, boom, there we go. Third kill of the game. E75, a tier nine tank is taken out. And now there's a T-54, another tier nine tank. This is a Russian medium in front of us. We're putting some shots in, he's on low health. He's got five hit points left. Yes, we'll take that kill for our fourth one of the game. And now there's just a Type 59-2 in front of us. And again, watch as we, we're here, I'm trying to get the gun down, trying to get it down, we can't. And then finally we come over the ridge, able to get the reticle on target. We put one in, he's on 127 health. I'm thinking, ah, I can ram him. I'll probably lose that, but maybe it'll be enough to kill him. Not quite, we leave him on 41 health. We definitely took more damage than we dished, but he was on such low health. We get the ram in and then we follow it up with a quick shot for our fifth kill of the game. And just like that, Things went crazy all of a sudden. Two minutes, nothing, we didn't fire a shot. And then bang, the next three minutes are going like wild with the gun firing on reload. 
And with that big skirmish one, this is just a cleanup now. We're going in for the artillery. There were two, they're down to one. I tried to deke him. Like I thought like I was gonna go left and look right, but boy, he was not fooled. He knew which way I was coming, but we had a high explosive round loaded. So we got a little bit of extra damage. And immediately after that, our teammates secured the kill. So no sixth kill, no top gun, but a wild battle, really, really interesting in that it was this slow build up, slow burn. I was able to be a little bit patient and then boom, explode into battle, keep myself safe and, and not expose my tank and not be the focus of those tier nines, but get the shots out, 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 and do all that damage and rack it up very, very quickly. And so we can see now, if we take a quick look at the post-game stats, that that was an MVP performance. We come in first place in a tier seven as the bottom tier tank in that battle, five kills, 2,815 damage, and yes, 2,160 nice XP for our top XP battle that I can ever recall. So if we get a look at the personal detailed stats after the battle, we can see five kills, 2,815 damage, 16 direct hits, and I think we, we bounced like that first shot. I don't know if we bounced any other shots. We did have like two misses. That was a really, really clean game, good accuracy. Um, I think we like put one into the dirt when somebody was cresting a hill, and we missed the T, uh, the Skoda as he was like doing that first rush in. Other than that, accuracy was really good. Penetration was really good. We used the premium rounds when we had to. Um, and you can see that, that we barely made any uh, profit without a premium account. Again, we had to fire, I think it was four or five of those premium rounds against the heavy tanks early on in the battle before we switched back to our standard round. So a little bit of premium use there, and that did cost us in terms of making a decent profit. But if we had been running a premium account, that would have been a nice 32,000 in terms of uh, credits that we made in the battle. The vehicle XP, 7,000 and change. There was some crazy event going on there where you're getting bonus for your wins. Um, so we'll ignore that for now and take a look at the uh, actual base XP, which we already saw in the first screen. Uh, so now we'll take a quick look at the medals. Yeah, and no doubt about this one. When we saw an over 2,000 base XP game, we were pretty comfortable knowing this was going to be an ace tanker, a mastery badge for this tank. The Levislaos medal for uh, killing two tanks that were two tiers higher than us. Again, the E75 and the T54, we were able to secure those kills to get that medal. A bruiser, we were doing some damage to tracks and other modules. Fire for effect and spotter. Um, spotter is an interesting one. I did not really expect to have that show up in this battle. I didn't feel like I was doing much spotting, but we'll take it. And a fighter for the five kills, one shy of the Top Gun. And again, here on the final page, we can see 2,169 base XP, well far over anyone else on the team. Shout out here to Island Itorofu in uh, the German medium tank, the Kampfpanzer 50T. Uh, he had a really nice game as well, 3,200 damage. I think that's the most damage in that battle. Uh, but again, he was a tier nine, so not getting that bonus that we were getting for all the damage we were doing to those tanks, two tiers higher than us. And you can see it wasn't just the damage. I mean, the damage was good, almost 3000 damage. And we were just pumping it out in basically three minutes of firing action, 3000 damage. But more than that, we were able to secure almost another 3000 assistance damage. And again, that was all, uh, well, not all because we know we had the spotter metal, but there was a lot of tracking damage, especially the E75 when they came through and we were able to put shots into the tracks. And then our allies were dumping in the damage to that big hit box of a tank in the E75. Lots of hit points available there for personal damage and then also securing some assistance damage. And we can see our assistance was pretty well split. Uh, 1,240 for tracking damage and 1,643 for spotting damage. Again, I did not even realize as I played the battle and as I did the replay, the, the spotting aspect was lost on me. I did not realize we were doing that so well. Um, maybe it was when we poked to the ridge as they were kind of doing that final push in, the fact that we poked the ridge as they were pushing, maybe we spotted them and then they rushed in and we did all that damage. So a little bit of good fortune there, good timing, and it kind of worked well with the intentional tracking damage that was going on for sure. And all together, that's almost 6,000 combined damage in a tier seven tank. That is an awesome performance one that I was really proud of and happy and stoked as it was going on. I knew it was gonna be good, had no idea it was gonna be this good until we saw the post-battle results. So thank you for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you.